hello ladies i am so excited to share this new vision this new tv program that we are launching and birthing today september 2018 and yeah may this be a day that we're going to look back over the next five years or ten years and see how this program has, has transformed the lives of women out there the heart of this program is to get you back into the word. So many times we as women compare ourselves to our friends or to somebody that we see on TV or to things that we read in a magazine or to movies that we see. But we're not there where we're in the, in the word, where we find our identity and our purpose in the word of God. So the heart of this program is to get you back to the basic truths of the word and who God says we are. So I'm so excited to introduce to you my very special friends that's going to walk this journey with me, that's going to make this program something that you will look forward to every week. So every week we're going to have our Bibles and we're going to have a cup of coffee, the things that women love, um, <laughs> except shopping. And we're going to have all of that. Yeah, so you come every week with your coffee, with your Bible, with your notebook, and we're going to learn together mm. straight from the Word of God. So with me, I've got Chantal. Hello Chantal, welcome. Well, thank you very much Linda for including me into this amazing program where we're going to talk to women right around the world. And a little bit about myself, um, sure, we're very, we're very busy within the ministry, kingdom work, and not just busy with ministry, but we are having, a re I have a relationship with God, oh, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and that is important. So for me, being here today is, it's beyond my imagination, because today we can share the word to woman mm -hmm. that says, oh my word, I didn't know, or I didn't understand it that way, and mm -hmm. God is open and Oh, bless me with this program with you and Bianca and Karen to share the word of God to women from all walks of life. So this is a red letter day in my life. Yes, and it stirs <laughs> my heart. It really yeah. stirs my heart to get back to the word, to this, to the truth. Yeah, it really stirs my heart. So yes. welcome and thank, thank you. you for for yeah for for being here with us oh, and doing bless it with you. me. Bianca, hi everybody. I'm Bianca. I'm Linda's partner in Lady Rose, and I run the journey with her, as God has instructed me, mm. as we have a mandate to take to the rest of the world, and that is Lady Rose. And yeah, I firmly believe, and the Word of God says, the truth shall, sh shall, sh shall set you free. Mm. So yeah, I believe by this program, hosting this program, the truth is going to set people free. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes. Amen. Gordon, welcome. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> For those who are in Hi. America and the other countries, countries, welcome means welcome. Welcome. Yeah. It's close enough. Yes. Hi, Linda. Hi, Chantal and Bianca. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. It's for such being a here. privilege for me to be here and to discuss with you the Word of God because He's the love of my life. Mm. And... Um, I would so much like women to really see themselves the way God sees them and the word, how Amen. the word describes them and how special they are. Mm -hmm. And there are so many women with so many different situations and problems mm -hmm. and challenges. And it's all dealt with in the word of God. All mm -hmm. the answers are there. The word is surely alive mm. and it oh, cuts man. through bone Amen. and marrow. Amen. And we're going to go in there <laughs> yes. and we're going to release the power of God Amen. through this wonderful opportunity that you've given us. And I am excited. I'm really excited. I'm a mom and I'm a wife and we are busy also in the ministry, very busy with so many things. But where else would we want to be? Exactly. This is where I want to be and I'm really happy to be <laughs> oh, here. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for being with us. You like, the, you like our mommy on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I find that always very strange to think of myself as a mom figure. But um, I don't mind it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. But Karen, you have yeah. a lot of children yes. under you. Karen's yeah, got this do. amazing ministry that's got a lot of yes. girls. And there was a time yes. where I did not have children physically mm -hmm. with me. And um, it's just one of those small things that I'm going to just share quickly that I didn't have and I was broken. I was mm. so broken. And then there was a prophecy of Isaiah 54 that mm. you will have many children. <laughs> and I was like, Lord, how's that ever going to happen? And now <laughs> everybody tells me 
I have so many children and I think about that the whole time. Yeah. And this is like 20 years ago. Oh, wow. So sometimes it, it takes a bit of time yeah. for these things to realize. Mm. Yeah, what's amazing and what I want the women to realize is that we are just normal women mm. yes we are working for the king of kings mm. and we Amen. all love him dearly but we didn't start there yes. and that is what mm. we the message that we want to bring across we're going to share in the programs to come we're going to share about our personal lives as the holy spirit needs us so that you can relate mm. to who we are we just want to be real with you yes. we don't want people to put us on this pedestal where they feel that they can't relate to us and that is why we want to get into the word that is why we want to take the lives of esther and the boer and all these people mm. go into that because god has given us the word he's given us the answers already i know in the times that i went through the most difficult stages in my life where i went through healing and just finding myself and my purpose and my identity in who i am it was only the word. It was only my time spent alone with Jesus, yeah. the Holy Spirit and Abba Father in the word where I found myself. Mm. And I don't know if any one of you can relate to that, Chantal. I mean, you weren't yeah. always on the platform no. where you are at this moment. You also started no. broken. I started broken. Yes. Um, coming from a family when I was very young, at, at the age of 15, 16, I found, I found Christ. He was not lost, I was lost. Mm. I found him and at that moment when I found Christ, my whole family was not serving the Lord at the moment. So the journey was very tough for me. And then where I am today, um, you know, when you go into the ministry mm. and, you, and you're a woman and you are a single woman. Oh yes. Mm. It is very difficult. Yes. And you, you really need to seek the face of God. Mm. Because remember what the word says, Jesus found favor in the eyes of yes. God and in the eyes of Amen. men. Mm. So it's important. It was always this thing. I always pray this over myself. Today, I'm in a ministry where I am excelling, where God has blessed me with amazing leaders and a platform so that my ministry can, can reach people. Yes the calling on my life, the anointing upon my life, but it was a tough journey. Mm -hmm. I remember when I started the ministry back in the day 2010, um, the people, the pastors that I used to know, that I used to reach out to to help me, mm -hmm. rejected me. Yeah. So um, that for me was very strange. Mm -hmm. So today I'm very blessed, Linda. Mm -hmm. I am prospering within the ministry. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I'm in the right place at the right time under the right leadership Amen. that is important. very important that is very important mm. and bianca i mean you weren't always the financial director of your <laughs> <laughs> no. you know what linda it's really a journey mm. and, and you need to choose you need to choose life mm. so it is a journey to lay down that what is not pleasing to god yeah. and it's not always easy sometimes you have to go through the fire sometimes you're being tested your character needs to be formed i mean people like people look mm. at people that are on stage or look at people that mm. are that is in ministry and they think oh they've got it all mm. but it's not like mm. that behind mm. the scenes they don't know yeah. what we go through mm. and what the testing and the trials and the purification and you need mm. to lay it down mm. because if you want God to use you lay down what is not from him mm. and it's mm. a choice yeah, that's true but yes. it's a very I encourage everybody out there to make that choice mm. and to lay down what is mm. keeping you back because it's so worth it at the end mm. of the day mm. Mm. that's true mm. and the scripture that's close to my heart is that scripture that says and you shall know the truth mm. and the truth shall set you yes. free that yeah. is the foundation mm. on which we're going to build this program on mm -hmm. but what will you say if you hear that scripture what what is truth to you to me i remember when i was not i remember very well when i was not with christ and when i did not choose him the truth that i thought christians were like was so clouded mm -hmm. and it was so wrong and I had such a wrong impression of Christianity and Christ followers mm -hmm. um, I was it, it does seem like foolishness mm -hmm. to the people I would say outside the mm -hmm. faith mm -hmm. to me now the truth is Christ yes. mm -hmm. and the truth is his word mm -hmm. and I was truly the one that was According to my friends, the most unlikely one to give her life to Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was really lost. I was a truly lost soul. And um, it was really 
it was a miracle. Mm-hmm. Like I think every one of us yes. who get to God and yes. give our lives to God through Jesus Christ, that choice is surely a miracle. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because mm-hmm. out of our own, we would never do that yeah. because yes. our very nature is to go against God. Yeah. So um, truth for me is life. Yes. It is truly life. And like you said, Bianca, um, there's such a there's such a rich um, prosperity and life in that, and if you don't have yeah. that, then you wouldn't even know it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I just I'm so grateful that uh, he saved me. Oh, <laughs> I, I am so too. grateful. Oh, yes. <laughs> so and I tell you, <laughs> at what age did you come to salvation? Well, I tell, I gave my life to the Lord also at 16, mm-hmm. but I was in a more um, religious mm-hmm. sort of church. Mm-hmm. We were not really mentored. Mm-hmm. We were not told about anything. So I lost the way very quickly. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I remember that moment. Mm-hmm. And I said, I am not going to get up from my knees unless I hear bells and whistles. <laughs> like everybody else does. <laughs> and I did not hear any bells and mm-hmm. whistles. So I thought, he's not real. But I think that he just smiled at me at that stage and he remembered me. And then at 40 only that I really so desperately seek him. And then everything was so clear. Sure. So clear. The answer was so clear. Mm. I was looking for it in very wrong places. Mm. And I was just so obviously clear right in front of my face. Mm. Here he is. And I have... I've loved him since. Mm. <laughs> Can Truly. I th- throw it out there to say that, because I think that there are people watching that might not be saved. Yes. Yes. And look, that look at Christians, but there's a different coming to salvation. Yes. I think we've all been there. Yes. I, I came to salvation, I had a personal encounter with Jesus when I was six. But mm. not knowing and not growing up in a solid, found, firm foundation in our home, Obviously, I went off the road and I met him only again at the age of 19. Mm. But many people will come to salvation. I think that is what you speak about, yes. about the truth. That, But their lives remain unchanged. Mm. Why will you say that is? Why will, just to get that mm. thing out there, because we want to bring the truth across. You shall mm. know the truth and the truth shall, shall set you free. The mm. truth is Christ. Yes. So the word says, you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, the then you God. shall be saved. Mm-hmm. So why will you say that people will come to salvation but they remain unchanged? Linda, it's very strange that you ask me this very short word, one word, relationship. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a relationship with mm-hmm. Christ, yes. you can be saved for 30 years. Mm-hmm. It will Nothing will work for you. Yes. You've got to have an intimate relationship yes. with the mm-hmm. Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. to God through His Holy Spirit. Because yes. sometimes we don't understand, we don't understand mm-hmm. the Word. Mm-hmm. It's the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. that opens the Word unto me. Mm-hmm. So what did Jesus say to His disciples? He says, it's better that I go, because when I go, I will give you, I will send you the Holy Spirit that will do what? That will lead you into what? Into all truth. So for me is, Mm -hmm. I will not make it ever in my life Mm -hmm. if I don't have a relationship, Mm -hmm. because it's in the relationship that the gifts of the Holy Spirit Mm -hmm. becomes alive within me. Mm -hmm. That's when I get discernment. That's when I have faith. That's when wisdom starts to build. That's Mm -hmm. where the knowledge comes from. Mm -hmm. That's where everything starts when my relationship. Now, none of us started with God Mm -hmm. on a high note. Mm -hmm. We all started on our knees where we still are because we need His wisdom Mm -hmm. in all situations. So to me is, the truth is, my relationship in Him will Mm. guide me to how He wants me to deal with their circumstances. Because remember, every situation, every level of your life, every dimension of your life, you will fight a different demon. And how are you going to fight it? You can't fight with yesterday's anointing Uh -uh. or presence. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Or battle or, mm. or, 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 or your, weapons, you equip your weapons, that's yes. the word. Mm. Yeah. You your need weapons. to get mm. equipped every single day and it's mm. only going to come through your relationship, mm. how the Holy Spirit will inspire you, guide you and teach you how you're going to do this. Yes. Mm. I that's also true. think, as Bianca said about choice, you, you, you have mm. obviously made a decision to choose well. Mm. You have a choice every single day. Mm. And if you do not choose life, mm and choose truth, Mm. then you're also definitely not going to grow. Uh -uh. It's also, as Paul said, 
I deny myself daily. Mm. So it's that denying yes. process. Yes. And as you deny yourself, mm. he stirs a desperation in your mm. spirit to know him better mm. and true. to come closer to him. And I think that is also something that maybe some time you are not in a position where you actually want to let yes. something go. Yes, mm. yes. yes. and it's, you can tell us a bit more the difference between religion and relationship. Because I think many times people come to salvation mm. through religion. Mm. Because everybody mm. is telling them to yep. do yep. it. Yep. So they're not doing it. What's the difference? What will you say is the For difference? Me, there's a scripture that says, they serve me with their lips, but their hearts hey. are far mm. from me. Mm. So that is the, the, the thing. I mm. think some people go and they make a choice, you know what, I'm going to choose Jesus. Mm. But it's not a hard decision. Mm. It doesn't come from your heart, from your spirit, from this is what I want more than anything mm. in life. Mm. 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 And if I think about myself, I say as mm. Pastor God, and we had like an altar call and I went out mm. there and I said, I want to give my life for Jesus. But everybody's doing it and the pastor's saying, time is short, Jesus is coming. And that was <laughs> the, that was the age of 17. And, yeah. and, and I was in like in a religious <laughs> church. Uh, um, I can't remember uh, yeah. a religious yes. church. So there was no relationship. And yeah. I thought, I have to do this. And then yeah. also, that's what I did. But then I it's afterwards... It's also a bit about fear. Yeah. Yes. And then about four or five years down the line, I came to the... Re to re the understanding. Understanding that that is not, that is not mm. in truth and spirit mm. and truth. That mm. was only out of guilt, mm. out of fear. Mm. And then mm. I only found Jesus. Wow. And where do we find Him? In the Word. Yes. Amen. So, so many yes. times we come to salvation just because everybody else is doing yes. it. And I don't know why we're going in this direction. Yes. This is our first program, but our hearts are for souls. Yes. In the end, we are all called. I remember one day sitting on my bed and I was just speaking to, to the Holy Spirit and just praying and meditating. And I asked Jesus, I said to him, why? Because ministry is not always easy. Yeah. And I just asked him, why are we here? Why did you create human beings? If we look around us and everything around us are falling apart. And mm. my, my son the other day said to me, said, Mommy, the world has become so evil. And I just sat there and said, Lord, why are we here? And he said to me, the only reason is to manifest Christ. Amen. Yes. That's the only reason mm. why he's created us. When we come to salvation, our purpose is to manifest Christ. Mm. And how do we manifest? manifest him we manifest him out of what we know and that is sometimes mm. scary yeah. so if you are mm. in hurt mm. if you are in rejection yeah. if you are operating out of fear yes. that is what you're going to manifest to the world and that is why people look at us from the outside and think that Christianity is a joke mm -hmm. because in the end we manifest Christ out of what we know yeah. That's that true. is why That's we need true. to get That's into true. the Word. Yes. If the truth of the Word is inside of us, if we get to know Jesus, who He is, and we will start manifesting that mm. because the truth is inside of Amen. us. Yes. So that is the heart for what we want to teach you, is to get back into the Word of God where we start manifesting the truth. The lie is that you are broken. The truth is that Jesus was broken so that we can be whole. Amen. So then we start manifesting wholeness. Then we can start helping women. I mean, Chantal, in your ministry also, you work with a lot of broken mm. women. Mm. Can you um, manifest the fullness of Christ if you are still broken? Never, mm. never, ever. Because if we pray for women and I'm broken, what is it? I'm transferring yes. brokenness to yes. brokenness. Yes. I can only begin mm. when we come to Christ and when God calls us into the ministry, mm. He heals us mm. first mm -hmm. yes. so that we mm. minister from a healed mm. place. Yes. Healed where? Healed within yes. Him. Yes. We can never get healed yes. on our own. We yeah. heal, we, we minister, we pray for women, we counsel women mm. out of Christ. Yes. Not a broken Christ, yes. but a healed, yes. resurrected Amen. Christ. Yes. And this is why yes. we all have a past. Mm. We all came from somewhere, mm. which maybe we, were coming, we came from an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Broken, parents died, husband walked out, children died, something happened, cancer, whatever mm. it is. But I found my healing within Jesus and out of Him. I begin to minister, yes. and that is the success yes. of our ministry. Because without Him, mm. we are nothing. No, 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 no. It's without Him, I cannot. I always, before I go and minister, or before with all of this, I'll say, 
Jesus, you sit with us. Yes. There's a chair for you. Yeah. You come Amen. and sit here with us. Yeah. Because we, I cannot give out of myself. Mm. I cannot. If I give out of myself, I give out of flesh and that will lead unto death. Yes. But if we give out of Christ in us and us in Christ, I always say that it's not just Christ in us because he's too big. If we start to understand the magnitude of the truth of who he is, then we'll realize that he's too big for him to be in us. So he's in us and we are in him. So when we start giving out of that place, we will speak the truth. Yes. And the truth shall set mm, the people free. free. Yes. Shall set the people free. I mean, I think you've experienced, if you, if you hear a lie mm -hmm. and you read the truth, what does it do to you? No, the, tr the truth sets me free. But I need to mm. choose, am I going to believe the truth or am I going to believe the lie? lie. Yes. That's the other thing you yes. need to do daily. You need to choose because the enemy bring, brings lies. Then you need to choose, am I going to believe the lie or am I going to choose the truth? Yes. The yes. other thing is also if I know Chantal, mm. I know her characteristics, I know the way that she thinks and yeah. how she does things. Mm. If someone comes to me and tells me Chantal did this or that, I Im I know her immediately. Mm -hmm. I know she yes. is. She will yes. not do that. That is not her characteristics, mm. and that is not how she will mm. operate. So I know, and that's mm. how if if we do not know Christ yes. and we do not mm. know the Word, yes. we we will be so susceptible mm. to lies mm. and and wrong thoughts and ways of how we see Him, and that is that's also happens so often mm. with us questioning him yes because we don't know we don't know truth. him that's right we don't we know don't him know. enough to know yes. who he really is and mm. out of all our brokenness we also learn to know him in different ways mm. amen that's, true. that's also that's a good true. one because we all go through different things yes mm. and it's not just one person no it's, your it's one person but i'm what i mean there are so many so many aspects, aspects. Uh, uh, yeah aspects yes. of his character yes. character yes he's you'll know him as your healer you'll know him as your amen. provider you know yes. him as your peace mm. and um that is all the different areas where we get to know him. Oh, I'm excited, guys. Yeah, me too. <laughs> You're going to get the truth out there. And as we've seen, our time has almost come to a close. So what I want to do is I want to bring you back to this. Mm. I love, I'm not a digital person. I love feeling the pages in between my fingers and just sitting with the word. So in the end, our hearts are next week when you join us bring your bible don't mm. bring it on an ipad don't bring it on a phone bring your physical bible bring a pen i write in my bible everywhere but the basic foundation of this program is going to be and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free mm. i will never forget while I, I wrote a book and when i wrote the first book i was i was writing on the first blood the, the seven blood offerings I've done a, a more in-depth book, but while I was writing that, in a vision, Jesus appeared to me and he said to me, how can you write about me if you don't even know me? <laughs> I was saved for 10 years already at sure. that stage. And I stood there and he was standing in the vision with a mirror in his hand. Now there's a scripture in Corinthians, I think I must just make sure. So please don't quote me on that. That says, and behold, mm, mm, the word mm. is like a mirror. Mm. And he said to me, go and study Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So if you don't know where to start, go and start That's Matthew, right. Mark, Luke and John. Mm. That is where I found Jesus. Yes. After 10 years of being saved, that is where I found how he healed, how he spoke, how he walked, how he acted, mm. what his character was. That is where I found Jesus. And that, that is where I got to know him was in those four Gospels where, where I studied those Gospels. I think, I don't know how many times I've read them through and through and through. And there, that is where I met Jesus. Mm. And that is after 10 years of being saved where my life changed mm -hmm. completely inside and out because I encountered the resurrected Christ through yes. His Word. So now if somebody, I know Jesus. I don't know about him. Yeah, there's I a difference. I know him. So mm. if somebody, nobody will be able to, to, to persuade me otherwise of his character and his love for me because I know him. And where did I find him? In the, the word. word. The word says in 1 John 1 that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word became Came flesh. flesh. This word girls mm. is a physical manifestation of who jesus is amen the words that are in this word are 
Godly spoken. Yes, it's written through people, but the Holy it's Holy Spirit inspired. Mm -hmm. Every word in this word is God breathed. Yes. So as you go, I hope that through this introduction to our program, which was awesome, thank you <laughs> ladies. <laughs> I hope it made you excited to get back into the word. I hope it made you excited to be with us next week again. And bring your Bibles. Mm -hmm. Make a hot cup of coffee. Ours are cold now, yeah. so we're going to need Definitely. new ones. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to be, all of us, to yeah. be with you next week again and to just get into the Word. Thank Amen. you, Chantal. Oh, bless you, Thank ladies. you, Bianca. Thank you for having us. Such a pleasure. Thank yeah. you. See you girls next week. <laughs>